All right, fighthype.com. Sean Zatel, happy to be in the house of yeah. the fundamentals. Yeah, thank you so much. All the best. Thank you for having us today, man. First of all, why is this the house of fundamentals? Why do you call yeah, it that? Yeah, because actually what we try to implement uh, the wisdom of the house of fundamentalists, we are not a normal uh, boxing gym. Uh, we try to to bring each and every fight, it doesn't matter the level or world champion, doesn't matter, just to do the right thing through the fundamentals of boxing skill. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if you know uh, every fight, they have their own style. Right here, we don't change any one style. So everybody have their own style, but improve, improvement. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, we get from each and every fight uh, the best of their own style mm -hmm. through the fundamentals. Mm -hmm. It's the wisdom of the, the house of fundamentals. But, but the, the thing they all have in common is good fundamentals. Yes. It, no matter the style. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Fundamental right. of boxing is, is uh, like a classic. It's, it's all, all the, the, the tools uh, being building from many generations of, of good fighters, you know? But uh, each fighter, they have their own style. I know one everybody uh, fight like Ugas, or no everyone fight Robesi or Lara. Each and every fight, fighter, they have their own style. So we try just to improve each and every one style now, uh, through the fundamentals. What would you say are some of the most important fundamentals a fighter needs yeah, to have? Yeah, we have, if we, if we divide the human body, it's a biomechanics. So the number one is the feet. The fit position is the one who who create the the proper style many times because a style is like like a god gift. It's a talent. It's a, within each and every one. But sometimes they have, uh, for example, they, they like to be a fighter style, but the fit is in the wrong position. A stretch. So uh, we we try to find out. Each and every one in style is the, the fit position of each one. This is the first. And then we go to the uh, a knee, we go to the knee, and we go to the hip. And then we connect feet, knee, hip, and then connect to the upper body, shoulder, and then arm. And head moving all together. They create, create a, what I call boxing. Boxing is one full set men of attack, defense, and counters. So when you can implement each and every department all together working in harmony, you know, in total harmony to, to be each and every one style. Yes, the best of it. And never forget uh, the fitness, fitness uh, part of the, each uh, level of the fight. Let's say now, uh, we have like a, a Lara or Jorgeni Ugas, they're working already for 12 round championship fight always. So the approach they have with the fitness together with the gym work is different. There are other guys that are uh, six rounder, eight rounder, and nine rounder. So everything is uh, defined for each and every fighter. What do you think? Speaking of fundamentals, what do you think? You're going up against a guy who seems like he has good fundamentals, Errol Spence. Yeah, do you yeah. feel like Spence is yeah. very fundamentally sound? Yeah, the, you know, when we when we touch their level, no? So uh, everything is hard to to go to the, the same level we, we will fight. For example, let's say, Jordan Ugas. Your, Jordan Ugas is the, the, I think, one of the best uh, comeback fighters. Ever. Why? Jordan Ugas, he came from Cuba and he lost three when he came to us. No one gave one dollar for Jordan Ugas. Mm -hmm. He was totally out. Mm -hmm. But through uh, his dedication, his hard work, he started to, to grow and always beating and defeated guy. So it will be no first time uh, Jordan Ugas will fight with undefeated. Us. Uh, uh, he's, you know? Not the first time he's an underdog. He's so always a uh, normal, normal. We've been already for a whole, whole fight with us. Always, and, and, and <laughs> you know, always we be underdog fighter. But doesn't matter. So, but one thing, one thing for sure, 
uh, one of uh, my own working style, I, I study and analyze the opponent. Um, do we see in, 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 on him so many good things, but at the same time, we see the flow. I will not tell you ni anyone about the flow because we need to work for it. Right. You know, and now we start the training camp with Jordanio Gas. We have a eight and a half week to go. And just just working, no? Number one, uh, uh, we, we divide the training in three blocks. The general block, when we start to install all the, the good thing uh, Jordani Ugas has, mm -hmm. okay? And delete, erase some of the bad habits for this coming fight. Then the second part will be when we uh, create already the, all the uh, sparring programming already for, for uh, the game expenses. Plan. And then what we'll do in there, we need to uh, uh, install the strategic for the fight. And then the third part, the final part, is uh, making his way and the, give the final touch for the fight. So always we divide the training camp in three parts. Three parts. Three parts. So now we are in the middle of the the, the, the part one. Uh, we create all the general things. And I am so far I'm happy the way we've been doing, really. Uh, he's working. Uh, um, one thing for sure, uh, Jordan has been fighting for long in the uh, world class in amateur and now he's in world class in, in professional. Everybody saw the way he beat uh, Pacquiao. He was totally underdog. Yes. And then after, after he, uh, he beat Pacquiao, everybody say, no, Pacquiao all. And what happened with Tarman? Watch Tarman last fight. He was amazing. But with Pacquiao, he did not show any amazing things. So, uh, I know the guy who like to always to uh, overestimate my, my fighter. I, I have to say, we have to work hard. It's a big challenge to, to fight with Errol Spencer Jr. It's, it's a big challenge. It's a very solid uh, worth away for me. It's, a lot of it, it, yeah, it's, it's the one, it's the number one worth away right now, you know? Uh, and we need to beat the odds. That is, is my, is, is what we're looking for. We need to beat him. And we will try to beat him. This is one thing for sure. We will do all our best to beat Eros Spencer Jr. I don't give like a now say, no, we will beat him. No, we have to work for it. And we're working for it. And then that night, everybody will see. One thing I can tell everyone and um, tell to Errol Spencer Jr. or his team, Ugas is no easy piece. Ugas is one of the more challenger welterweight right now. Because he is the one, if he lost, he lost in, on the line, on the line of fire. So will be no easy fight. It will be a tough fight. Um, if he is ready, I'm more than happy because we can give to the uh, um, boxing, boxing society, to the boxing fan, all the best fight, you know? It's, it's our job, you know? We're working for the people who watch us out of performance, you know? But uh, anyway, we, we, we're working for it. And Ismail, just because um, you talked about footwork earlier, Ugas, he stays in front of you. He's not like Lara and Rigandiao. How yeah. do you think that plays out in the fight? Because Spence is very strong, good puncher. Do you think he's Ugas will be strong enough to stay toe to toe? Is that what we're gonna see? Yeah, toe -to -toe? yes, of course, yeah. yes, of course. Yeah, yes. Uh, yeah. Is what I say. I can tell you totally what we what we try to approach. But uh, Ugas, one example. No, when we fought with Champ Porter, Champ Porter is is the guy he never back up to anyone. Still the last fight. Yeah, even Crawford, he yeah. was on top of him. Yeah, always, yeah. Yeah. always. And with Jordan Ugas, when Jordan Ugas start to work face to face, front to front, and then he he start to, to use a bossing and move. Mm -hmm. So 
Uh, let's see. That shows the power of Ugas, yeah. you think? Yeah, one thing for sure. Ugas, big chin, big balls, and very solid quarter the way. Ugas is very solid quarter the way. Of course, I always say, and I never uh, overestimate my fighter. I know he's pro, I know he's con. But we working for it, and we go for the uh, December, uh, April 16th, April 19th, in Dallas, in Dallas, Texas, uh, to, 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 show, to make the best of uh, everyone show, you know? And of course, we go for the winner. We go for the winner. Will the right hand be the southpaw killer again, like it was with Pacquiao? Uh, uh, yeah, depend, you know? Every, you know, if, if, if every, one thing who has, and I telling the um, Errol Spencer thing as well, who has never lost with Southpaw. No forget. So try to approach the right thing for the Southpaw.